Good morning, everyone. I'm Katie Nolan with your top headlines for Friday, May 25th. Your smartphone is smarter than you now, and Bar Raffaelli would like it if you'd hit on her. All that and more right here in your guys in speed round. Is this awkward? I just, the other one's dirty and I really needed some coffee. I hope nobody's upset. It's pretty. Because you guys seem to be so into girls wearing minimal clothes all the time, and I'm not going to be the one to do it, here are some photos I came across of Michelle Rodriguez in a bikini. And everybody's saying she's got a pretty awesome bikini body. And she does. It's just unfortunate that she has such a poop face. She's a, her, her face is poop. Charlize Theron told People Magazine that she really isn't a single mother because her dogs help her raise her newly adopted baby. Really not any worse or different than what we have going on here. Taco Bell has announced its delicious sounding beefy nacho burrito, which has, you guessed it, beef and nachos and cheese all rolled up in a tortilla. Sure, it'll probably make you pee out your butt, but if you're drunk enough to be eating at Taco Bell, it might be a nice vacation from puking out your mouth. Here's to trying something new. Katy Perry played a show in New York, and since it's Fleet Week, that magical time once a year when the sailors come ashore and let drunk girls put their hats on and upload pictures, she wore a patriotic flag dress thing. You nailed it, Katy. That is exactly what a group of men who've been cooped up on a ship with a bunch of other men want to see you wearing. You're so selfless. Sharon Stone is being sued by her former housekeeper, Erlinda Elliman, who says that Stone is racist and derogatory towards Filipinos and wouldn't even let Erlinda keep her Bible in the house. If I'm paying you to clean my house, why would I let you bring your trash into it? Bar Raffaelli, a woman you would very much like to have sex with, and was just named number one on Maxon's Hot 100 list, claims and insists that men never hit on her. I see what you're doing here, Bar. You're trying to be relatable, but um, it's different when no one's hitting on you because they're being taken away in a stretcher. Over 900 dog owners have now come forward to say that a jerky treat manufactured in China either killed their dogs or made them very, very sick. I feel like this is that scene where we find out that Soylent Green is people. Turns out wagon train dog treats meant that they were treats made out of dogs. China's sorry for the confusion. Intel is working on designing a chip that will be used in smartphones that will allow it to learn your personality and do things like help you find your keys, offer advice, and make appointments for you. Which sounds like that means you really don't need human friends anymore. And that means Ironically enough, that you really don't need a phone. Unabomber Ted Kaczynski, who's still in jail, serving out that life sentence, sent Harvard an update to his alumni biography because he won't be able to make it to the 50th reunion. Which sort of makes you wonder, though, if he could, would he? Because everybody hates reunions. I bet the one type of person who likes them is the one type of person who enjoys blowing up people. Greg Allman from the Allman Brothers is still more pimp than you. He's 64 years old now, and he's engaged to a 24-year-old woman named Shannon. Even though Greg's been married six times, he calls Shannon his first wife because he says it's the first time he's ever been in love. And Shannon calls Greg that guy with that song from that singular commercial. <laughs> Tana Lind, that's probably wrong, but I don't care, wrote, Hello, why do you do all this? Because the voices in my head tell me to. No, I'm just kidding. You're the one who's crazy. This is my job. Okay, now, if you're a true Katie Nolan fan and you like me on Facebook, then you know exactly who Hamun Fruzesh is. He's everywhere. He's the man. He sent me a very important email. He said he has a real question and he needs an answer ASAP. So let's all band together and help Hamun. He made an online dating profile, and he's getting mad bitches. <laughs> oh, Hammy. His first choice is 20 years old, and he's 30, and he's got an inbox full, I think you're exaggerating, but we'll just ignore it and keep going, um, of 25 to 30-year-olds who want some of the hamster. 
But the 20-year-old looks like she's going to take a couple weeks to decide if she wants to go out. Basically, his question is, 20-year-olds are immature, but so is he, and should he wait for this girl who he's the most interested in, or should he just get laid by the older broads? I would say, if this 20-year-old girl can't see how wonderful you are on the inside, then don't wait. Who's to say you can't go out with one of these older women, smash them out a few times, and then when the 20-year-old is ready, she's ready. Online dating is hardly, ow, a series of committed relationships. It's just people who want to smash their private areas together repeatedly. If you need a measurable time, I would say give her a week. And if she doesn't know in a week, then you do you and don't wait for her. Because a watched pot never goes out on a date with you. And that's going to do it for your speed round, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like button, comment down below, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel. And if you haven't laughed yet today, then I'm sorry there was no cleavage to make up for it, you fucking creepy pervos. But I'll put a link down in the description to a video that will make you do so. Enjoy your long weekends. Oh my god, I can't wait. And I will see you all on, I'm pretty sure, Tuesday. Right, boss? Tuesday? Uh, with more headlines that you need to know. Now people who donate as little as $3 to Mitt Romney's campaign could have a chance to eat dinner with Donald Trump. Okay, how much do I have to give to make sure that never happens?